What has easily become my favorite series here on the channel, that being the series of everything since. We first covered Ninja, then Nade Shot, last week Nick Merckx, this week another top figure out there for all of you guys. And as per usual, if you guys want to leave a comment down below who we should cover next, I love breaking down these stories. And of course, there are so many out there in gaming and esports, so feel free to leave your thoughts down below who we should actually cover next time on everything since. This episode, guys, Hector Rodriguez, aka Hex, everything since, Optic Gaming. And this stretches back all the way to September of 2019. Now, before this, we saw the fall of Optic Gaming, especially underneath Infinite Entertainment. We won't go into details about that because more importantly was Hector in September revealing he would be leaving Optic Gaming officially during the bidding process where Immortals Gaming Club versus Hector and his party started the bidding war against uh, each other for the, of course, the sale of the Optic Gaming brand. Everything underneath that hood, it was unfortunately enough revealed to us by Hector Rodriguez and his group. Uh, apparently, even though they had a better offer, it was actually given to Immortals Gaming gaming club for likely their financial backing and their surrounding other esports investments. It was also uh, kind of hinted and alluded to the fact that because of Optic J, this deal was never going to go through and thus Hex had officially left Optic Gaming. It was soon after though his announcement for a brand new organization which took surprise uh, by a lot of people, myself included, as he then joined the now astounding North American organization known as Team NRG, revealing himself at the end of a video putting on the NRG hoodie, but also revealed by Andy Miller, a CEO himself at the time for NRG that Hector Rodriguez would join him as co-CEO and the head of their now established Call of Duty roster. In October of that same year, we saw Hector Rodriguez do things that many other CEOs, or should I say co-CEOs, just frankly have not been doing in esports, that being drawing in all of his former talent. We've seen many of the old content guys now join NRG, Team Summertime as well, the former CSGO guys, former Gears guys, on top of many other players and content creators at least being offered to join NRG, and it's really cool to see a former CEO trying to take care of his green wall and his former Optic family. Later in that same month, we also had the official announcement of the branding and the Call of Duty roster which would be called the Chicago Huntsman and you know, begin to be a very, very dominant time and continue the Call of Duty era that Optic Gaming had once flourished in. And later that month as well, we slowly started to fill out that Call of Duty roster. Speaking of pulling in former Optic boys, it's actually T2P, otherwise known as Scump and Formal, to join as the first announcements of the Chicago Huntsman roster. And just the next month, we also found out via Hector Rodriguez's podcast, as he finished up the lineup with their substitute players, one of them being Embos, he clarified he would rather have big personalities than big players. And well, luckily enough for him, he has both. And in January of 2019, a video people often forget about was actually Hector Rodriguez saving the life uh, of a puppy in, in his backyard. That was, it was pretty cute and I, I thought it was worth mentioning. And then to start the first official franchise season of Call of Duty League, it could not have gone better for their Huntsman. Opening launch weekend, they go undefeated. Hector taking large part in the broadcast alongside other key figures and investors in the league, as well as Gary V. It was actually later the next month, the Huntsman take their first official home series win in London and their first chip in the Call of Duty League, going undefeated and beating their now rival Dallas Empire with Crim6 at the head of them two times in order to actually take that title. It could not have gone better for the Huntsman ever since then. Dallas Empire and Atlanta to face have also taken ships as the reigning season has now moved to online we cannot wait to see the huntsman compete and see what they do speaking of that and of course we've spoken about the brand and power that the old optic is now brought to nrg it was actually clarified just last month as well on twitter when it comes to most notable mentions with not only call of duty competitors but esports competitors as well it was chicago huntsman placing top 10 for all esports teams and not to mention number one in call of duty league for all those cod teams as well but also when it came down to all call of duty competitors it was the huntsman at number one two three four and five all five of their starting members were the most talked about members in all of call of duty showcasing the sheer power of the optic old optic now joining nrg and the green wall is now the nrg green that just nr green wall i'll show myself out Either way, it's been a tremendous, tremendous story for a guy like Hex. I could have dove a little bit deeper when it comes to before Optic and during Optic, and of course, the downfall of Optic underneath different management as well, but I didn't want to tie that into what is now Hector. He has made such great moves ever since his joining NRG, and of course, his old Optic, all of his old fans and viewers have certainly followed him there with an overwhelming strength that a lot of us probably didn't see coming. He is certainly one of the more remarkable stories out there in esports, but I love covering all of them. If you guys want me to cover someone that you enjoy watching as well, 
well. Feel free to leave a comment down below for the next episode of Everything Sense. This time around, it was Hector, Everything Sense Optic, and now with his future, Everything with NRG. I wish him the best of luck. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy your weekend. Until then, take care. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>